one taste of the poisoned apple, and the victim's eyes will close forever in the sleeping death. Hey everyone, welcome to my poison apple lip art tutorial. Starting off with nothing on my face, I'm going to be prepping my lips. This is important because if you have dry or cracked lips, you won't be able to paint those tiny details later on. I like to use a lip scrub first to get rid of any dead skin. Then I wipe it off with a damp paper towel and apply moisturizer. I'm using a lip primer here. After letting it sit on my lips for a few minutes, I gently pat off the excess using a paper towel and I'm ready to paint. I like to do my foundation first. I find that using a full coverage foundation makes things a lot easier for me later on. That way I don't have to go back and clean up things with concealer. Using a few reference photos, I'm starting to paint the shape of the queen's face using a skin toned liquid lipstick and a tiny little art paintbrush. Starting off with lighter colors makes it a lot easier to clean up any mistakes you may make later on and working in layers also really helps. Using a bright green face paint, I'm sketching out the outline of my poison apple. Face paint and liquid lipstick are my favorite things to use when painting lip art because they both dry matte and won't move around. Here I'm using the NYX white liquid eyeliner to paint on the shape of her eye. Using white as a background color helps make other colors really pop. Using my NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in Stone Fox, I started sketching out her eye shape and makeup. I used gray because it isn't as harsh as black, and that'll help make her eye look more shaded later on when I do add black on top of it. I'm doing the same thing for the inside of the apple to help add a little more dimension to it. When it comes to brushes, I love using tiny eyeliner brushes. I also use nail art brushes and art paint brushes as well. If you don't have a brush that's as small as you would like, a technique I like to use is to lay down your lighter color first, then use a darker color to help reshape and thin down your original line, or vice versa. For her eyeshadow, I'm using my NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in Amethyst. After I painted the black, I used the skin tone liquid lipstick again to kind of clean up the edges, a lot like cleaning up your real eyebrows with concealer. For her crown, I used my NYX Studio Liquid Liner in gold. To finish off her face, I added a touch of color with a pink eyeshadow that acted as her blush. Now it's time for the gloss. I didn't own a neon green gloss, so I just mixed my own. I used a green eyeshadow and clear lip gloss. You can mix it on the back of your hand or on a palette if you have one, but please make sure that any pigment you use is safe for the lips. For the drip, I loaded up a brush with a bunch of lip gloss and carefully placed it where I wanted it. And the key to capturing drips is patience. And that's it! I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>